My name's Ken Walker and I'm an artist. And I've been creating art for, oh, the last 30 years at least. Well, I knew that I wanted to be a painter probably somewhere around midlife. And I thought, what would I like to do for the rest of my natural life? Painting. This is like the culmination of everything that I love. I just think of nothing else that is absolutely free. I mean, it knows no boundaries other than the laws of physics. My work is intensely introspective. Uh, there are moments where I'll sit there and stare at a painting for just maybe days, literally days. And what I'm trying to get at is, is I'm trying to get at some deeper, deeper essence of the connectivity between high art and the human experience. When I do see someone standing in front of my work and I, I kind of notice even on my side that they're making a connection, that they're feeling something from that, I think that that's kind of the, the, the highest expression of, in some way, a success. That I've been able to take all of what I'm about, put it into that artwork, and then that is reflected back into another human being. And I'm just gonna say it outright. I want this stuff to be in everyone's homes. I create art for other human beings, not for myself. I would tell kids, who want to be an artist, to tell their parents that this is what they want to do. And then I want to tell their parents to please encourage them and financially support them. And whether you like it or not, everything you love in this world and want in this world, not that we should be a world of desire, but it was created by an artist. Everything. And so parents, nurture that within your kids. Pour gas on that fire. How long do I see myself painting is, I'm gonna be painting forever. The guy who comes to mind is Thomas Hart Benton, and I believe uh, they found him uh, at the bottom of an easel. He had just signed his name on his last painting. So if I had one wish in this world that came true, you'll find me in this studio with a brush just fell out of my hand. 